हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर सेकंड क्यूबी कोड ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज फाइनली वी आर बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल आईडी कार्ड इन आवर जी टी फाइव एम सर्वर सो हियर यू कैन सी द बेसिक डेमो वी आर शोइंग आवर आईडी कार्ड एंड द ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस साइमल्टेनियसली सो यू कैन सी इट इज़ वर्किंग कम्प्लीटली फाइन दिस इज़ बी एल कार्ड स्क्रिप्ट एंड नाउ वी विल गो एंड सी हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल इट इन आवर फाइव सर्वर सो वी आर नाउ एट द बी एल कार्ड गिट लिंक I will attach this link in the comment section, so all the useful links you will be able to find in the comment and the descriptions. Okay, so B, this is the BL ID card GitHub link. Here you can see we have to download and all those things we will go through. So you can see the basic README file. We can make different types of ID card. We can change the theme if you want by going through the documentation of this. We will not uh, go through all this much detail. You can see we have the customizable ID card script. Dependencies you can see we have two dependencies here. BL bridge and oxlip and installation is very much simple we have to download extract make sure it is insured and then follow the documentation which is a bit lengthy i will go through it and then you can indeed the config.lua as per your likings here we can see all the inventory items ox inventory and below we can see the qb inventory most probably all these items will be already there in your gta 5 5m server okay so you can see we have all the items by default here so these are basic items that will be used okay now let's go ahead and we will download the zip of this so you click on code and download the zip once it is downloaded you make sure you copy extract it and paste it in your location whichever is appropriate so i have pasted here bl id card you can see once this is done we will go ahead and then we will download the dependencies bl bridge and oxlip so i have shown here how we can download the bl bridge so in the similar way you can download oxlip and paste it in one of your folder so i downloaded the bl bridge and i have pasted it here you can see in the voice section i have pasted bl bridge so once this is done now we'll head back to the github page and we have downloaded the bl bridge we have downloaded the bl id card so you need to make sure that bl id card starts after bl bridge that is what it is mentioned here and then we'll follow the documentation so let's go to the documentation here so this is you can see six step documentation we have we have done most of the things already so we have downloaded the latest release which we have done hopefully you guys have copy and pasted we have done the bl bridge and its dependencies we have extracted that content also and i hope you have made it in sure bl id card in your server.cfg files so now we will go ahead and see the documentation for our framework so we are using qb core so we will go ahead and see the qb changes so first changes is qb multi character so we will go ahead and copy this block of code and we will go to our qb multi character or whichever multi character script you are using you will be able to find this function here so you can see give starter item so if you are following my first video i always specify don't do not delete the code so i have commented the code and pasted the new block of code here just to make sure that you are on the safer side okay once this qb multi character changes is done we need to go to qb inventory and it is saying delete the following create usable items and we need to do some replace so we will go ahead and we will first comment out the create usable item for our id card and for our driving license so you can see in qb inventory server main.lua we can we have already commented both the driver license and id card this is under server main.lua okay qb inventory once this is commented you need to add the line of code which is given here in the give item so copy this below code now and we will add it under the qb inventory so we have copied this give item command and now we will head back to our qb inventory again and again it should be under server main.lua itself so you can see we have this qb core commands dot add so i have commented both of these things id card and all those driver license so make sure comment don't delete it and then paste your line of code here you can see we have added the command for both the id card lower pass and the weapon license all of them are added now we will go to make the city hall changes so we have to replace the give starter item so copy this change and go to our city hall script whichever city hall script you are using so i am using qb city hall script and we are here in the city hall scripts now and we will comment again our give starter items this also comes under server main.lua qb city hall server main.lua i have commented that function and added the function given by bl id card and the second change which we have to make is request id card so this is someone when someone buys a new id card from the city hall so again go ahead and and search for request id card 
so it also comes under our server main dot lua you can see here again i have commented the request id function so make sure you comment it never delete it okay so once this is commented paste the code of this bl id card again here and this is it this is the complete changes all the changes are done so make sure to restart your server once if you are not able to restart so restart all the scripts at least and we will see the live action in demo now so here we are back in our server and you can see in our inventory we have both the scripts that is both the items which we have this uh, driver license and our id card so you can see both of them are working completely fine we are able to see our id expiry we have the date of birth sex everything is mentioned completely fine now we will drop all of this item here and we will go to city hall and buy this to see whether this buy functionality is working or not so we have our city hall guy standing right here we will uh, just buy these two id card from him and let's see them again working so you can see we buy it and it work completely fine both of the items is back in our inventory you can see and we can again display it so this is it if you like the tutorial make sure to like share and subscribe if you face any issue while installation so you can reach out to me uh, my discord link will be mentioned in the description section so i can assist you if you want any kind of assistance with your scripts so thank you guys i will see you in another video